Well, hello. Been a while. Still not very loyal to myself, especially not now, right? <laughs> So what is happening today? Like I said, a little different today. Got a bit going on. Time to try something else. Well, time to... I spend this time, a lot of times, just trying to make sure that I get things done that I want to get done. In some cases, that's... In most cases, that's working in my lab. In some cases, that's... Working on programming. Working on myself. Whatever, right? So let's see what today brings. Warning, incoming spreadsheet. <laughs> so there's a couple things that I'm trying to keep track of here. Well, let me start with... What I'm doing. Or what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I've got to find my album real quick. You'd think I'd have this prepped. So recently, I got my mitts on a trailer. Uh, M100 US Army surplus Jeep trailer. I have, I had grand plans. I still have grand plans, but my hope is to turn this into something a bit more like this. And I mean, I'm sure at the end of the day, I'm going to end up paying more than this. Hey, Prismatic Queen. How you doing? Thanks for the follow. So yeah, my hope is something along these lines. Um, I want to put a tent on it, and I'm probably going to try and track the build and uh, maybe stream working on it. I've currently got it sitting in a friend's warehouse, and uh, he's been nice enough to let me store it, as well as some of my tools, because he likes to mess around with them as well. <laughs> uh, he's a construction guy, uh, but welding and machining is a side thing for him, just like it always has been for me. Um, so yeah, that's kind of... Uh, what I'm looking at. So, all right. So what am I really doing here? I've got that thing. I want to build it out. What do I want it to do? I want power. So I have to figure out the power budget. I have to figure out what I want to do if I'm going to be actually using this thing and trying to either stream uh, while I'm out camping 
or even just record YouTube videos and do editing and that sort of stuff from a trailer, it's going to take some power, obviously. So I'm going to have to think about that. I have to think about camping. I mean, it's a camper. I have to think about long-term camping. So I've got to think about like, you know, I'm going to be storing a week's worth of clothes, uh, Maybe not a week's worth of food, but, you know, certain amounts of food and water, uh, bathrooms, showers, you know, all of the things that make life, life. It's all kind of started uh, after I got laid off. I started getting asked, well, you know, what, what, what if we move? Where do you want to move to? And I can't answer that question. I can think of a lot of places that I'd prefer not to go, but I don't really have any place that is a, yeah, I want to go to there. Uh, did my camera just die on me? <laughs> well, you know, first day back jitters. Hang on real quick. Pile. Yeah, it just shut off. Awesome. Let's see if we can't get that up and running again. Cumin. Well, while I'm messing with it, I guess I can continue the story, right? So, yeah, uh, you know, where do you want to live? I don't know. I mean, I've been to a bunch of places, uh, can't say that any one of them is like, I absolutely want to spend the rest of my life here. There's a few places that are awesome, and but I recognize that it's awesome to visit New Orleans. Love that place. I don't know that I could see myself surviving there. <laughs> uh, Reno. I like Reno quite a bit, but... Is there some way for me to survive there? Uh, their technology scene is interesting. It's growing, but it's still in the, what I would call, interesting phase. Been to Seattle. Not a huge fan of the Seattle area, but, I mean, I could see myself living there. Uh the other side of, of Washington. I've driven through Oregon. Uh, Boston's not bad. I mean, there's, there's lots of cool places out there, but my frame of reference for actually being there is non-existent. And we're back. All right, let's see. Ooh. So, yeah. I want to go and see these places. I want to go and do these things. Um, and hopefully bring some people along for the ride. Uh, and if that's something that's interesting, make sure you throw a like or if you're watching on YouTube or, you know, throw a comment and say, hey, I would watch that. Um, both the, the building and the traveling portion. Uh, I've thought about, you know, I don't want to I don't want to have to think about how far and how long I'm going to go. Uh so if I can stream it or record it and uh get other people interested in either areas that I'm going or whatever, then hey, I can stay out there longer hopefully, right? Anyway, this is just beginning. We're just starting these conversations and I'm just now looking at, hey, what's my what's my realistic budget? Because as you saw, you know, I could spend five grand and get a ready-made trailer ish. It doesn't really have everything that I need. At least I don't think. Let's let's take a look at it. I mean, it looks like it's just a base little guy. So it doesn't come with a tent. So the tent is usually about two thousand. Uh, something to think about, right? Uh, 
does it apparently it doesn't come with additional tires or tires maybe those are just upgrades that's just a suspension trailer tire mount oh okay so it doesn't include a spare tire I should mention that I'm going to be towing this behind one of the newer Broncos. Uh, I was pretty happy to get my hands on one of those early on. But, yeah, it's just a trailer. And, I mean, I've got the trailer. I definitely want to have... I can take some inspiration from this setup. I like the sliding rails. I like the idea that this could be telescoping so I could have a ra an actually raised tent. That could be cool. I would hope that this like flips open so that you can get in here. I mean, how much would it cost to build a gate that does something like that, right? Oh yeah, see, it's open right there. And they've added a tailgate to it. I've thought about that. Uh, my one problem with putting a tailgate on it is mine's mostly original. Um, the front, the the person that I that my uncle got it from, my uncle gave it to me, uh, had put a regular hitch on it. It's supposed to be a pintle hitch, and uh, <laughs> putting that back to a pintle hitch is like a grand on its own. But there are uh, other things that I can do just to make it like a generic sort of hitch so I can put whatever I want there. Uh, and that's, those end up being like two, three hundred bucks. Uh, but again, that's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. I'm budgeting this out. So let's start there. Let's just call this tab. Why, why you know? Why can't I rename you? There we go. This is the trailer hardware side of things. Get it from, from this to something a little closer to that. One thing I do have to do, I, I mounted the uh, license plate on this over here. I need to move it over here. Because one of the features of these and, and one of the things that they're kind of designed to do is just tip all the way up so you can put them right there on that area to you know clean them out work on the underside stuff like that i've also done a little bit of research into these tires that's going to be interesting but anyway let's let's get on with it i can talk about it all day i really really can um so what are the things that i need to look at first i want to look at the hitch side and I want to type that in the right place. <laughs> uh, maybe hitch upgrade. And then... What's the easiest way going to be? What's the easiest way to lay, lay this out I think hitch upgrades um, it's actually got disc brakes I do have to figure out the what's going to be required for the maintenance schedule because that trailer has been sitting out in the desert for 20 some odd years it definitely hasn't been re-greased it hasn't had any of the uh, the standard maintenance done to it so I'm sure I have to go over the brakes, things like that. Um, then we're probably... Ooh, PB back. Let's catch up. Pokemon. Okay, on. So, yeah. We got the hitch upgrade, maintenance costs. Now, then we're looking at the, the actual storage portion of it. What are we going to do for storage? What's what's the ideas around this? And honestly, if anyone's watching, listening, picking this up later on YouTube, and you've got ideas, or you've gone through this, or you have links, 
please. <laughs> I am I'm open to any sort of any sort of information. Sorry, nervous habit. Oh, I didn't even show up on camera. I'm, I'm messing around with my knife when I'm bored. Uh, or when I'm thinking. It helps me think. Oh, whoops. I forgot to do... Check. Oh, I guess I didn't catch it. Okay. So, hitch upgrades, maintenance costs, storage. Um, I want to handle water. Uh, I need both regular and gray. Maybe... Black water, I'm not sure on that one. Uh, I know that I'm going to want the ability to use the facilities, as it were. <laughs> so that's going to be important to look into, like what's, what's going to be required there. Um, then we're looking at uh, power. Power is going to be, I think, the most expensive additions other than the tent itself and then actually tent and what goes into that uh tent i think tent's gonna have basically two i can think of well you know what let's just do that so i've got water gray water black water and fresh water power is going to be batteries and charging i'm actually wondering to what extent if i have one of those giant batteries and my goal really is to spend at least a decent amount of time driving how much of a drain on the vehicle would charging one of those be and would the road trip time charge it so that's you know, one of those things to look into, for me, anyway. On the tent side, there's going to be uh, leveling. I want to be able to level it, which, if you look at the that other trailer, boom, 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 this guy. Not that picture. This picture... Go away. This picture shows leveling. Off-road customization, safety, longevity. And I do intend on doing some off-road. I mean, I have a car that I bought for that purpose, and that's the one I'm going to be driving around. So, uh, but anyway, tent, leveling. Um, mounting. Not over here. Over here. Hitch upgrade slash repair. Because it's, it is, the hitch that's on it is not great. Uh, maybe I should just do this. The hitch is upgrade. Repair, maintenance cost is going to be tools uh, and materials. What do, and for storage, I had, I've got a lot to figure out. Um, there's access. I've got to figure out how to access that storage. Um, and storage systems. Like, am I going to have buckets that I pull out? Things like that. I'm not sure. Oh, and we want cooking, right? Oh, tent is also going to have uh, heating, cooling, or I'll just call it uh, temperature. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be out there for a year, right, uh, what if I'm in a snowstorm? And I keep saying I, but it's going to be myself and uh, my girlfriend for the last 
13 she's gonna be so mad when she sees this <laughs> 13 years um and I'm, I'm trying to get her to become a character if we're gonna actually make videos out of this and and put it on youtube and and try to use it to uh extend the vacation as it were i think it'd be better if if she's not just holding the camera you know what i mean I think she'd have fun with it, too. Uh, oh, and actually, that brings another one. Uh, cooking prep area and barbecue. Whatever. I actually already have... It's not a black stone. It's a camp stove uh, griddle. So if I can make sure that that fits in someplace easy, uh, it's going to be... That'll make my life easy. Um... Then there's internet, right? Got to be able to send stuff up. And the question is, do I pay for internet or do I try and just do... If I'm going to be just creating and editing videos, then all I really need is the ability to upload at some point, right? Um, that ends up being like one video a week, but... Maybe two? I don't know. Well, I guess I could edit a couple and just upload and set a schedule or something silly like that. But internet internet access, uh, that's, that's something that kind of plays into the whole thing. So, um, this is kind of just the... The hardware side of things what do we what am i going to be looking at for a hitch just how do i connect this thing to the car first off part of me is tempted to go with go back to the pintle hitch kind of setup um man that stuff is expensive whereas yeah it helps if i spell it right trailer hitch At 100 trailer mods. I saw it recently. There was... I should have saved it. I mean, I can get the original parts. You don't... I don't think I want to do this with the original parts. Like... Uh, it, it adds up real quick. The Just the original assembly, if you can find all the pieces uh for that hitch ends up being i think around eight hundred dollars which that's kind of it's not too far off from a standard pintle hitch but then i'm out there using and wrecking real parts that someone someone who's trying to collect or or trying to uh do some sort of recreation could be using uh, and maybe appreciating a little bit more. So I don't think I want to go and do that. There is some interchangeability between the M100, the M416 is the other one. I think so. There's the... There's the version that's meant for Humvees. Yeah, here we go. M4 six trailer. Uh, there's the version that's meant for Humvees that keeps sneaking into these results. And it, I think it's like the M1001. There is, I think it was called small. What was the name of this company? Compact Camping Store. Yeah, these guys had this one right here. So I can just basically, I've got to grind off. Let me bring this one back. The guy my uncle got it from had 
basically put one of these attachments on and then welded it in place. I'm going to have to grind that off. It's uh, the whole thing, obviously, is going to need some grinding, wire brushing, <laughs> a new paint job, etc., etc. But uh, I'm going to have to cut this thing off right here. And if I'm going to have to do that anyway, hopefully I can get under these welds and keep the original pieces. And then I can just do this guy because then I can put whatever I want here. There is a downside in that, uh, as I said, the original one had the pintle hitch, but it was a, uh, what's it called, a buffered pintle hitch. So there was a spring in between so that when you pull on it, it kind of, it doesn't grind up against your pintle hook. It kind of pulls against it and it allows that to shift just a little bit under load. Um, and it's a little bit better for the, the contents of the trailer as well as the your car. Like, it's it's just better all around. Um, and they do make that sort of thing, but not that goes into one of these hitches. So what I would end up doing in that case is basically getting this thing for 120 bucks, And then putting the pintle hitch right on top, or the actual pintle lunette i believe is what the hook is the the round portion is called and welding it to the top of this thing so that i could do both then i could just plug in whatever i wanted here if i had to move it some other way but i could have the the pencil lunette um, and because it's bolted in instead of welded i could just take the stupid thing off and and put something else on or if one day i become that collector guy I can put it back to factory, you know what I mean? Because I, I do recognize that it is, it's an old trailer. It's a, and it's, many people would say that, you know, it's, it's a piece of history. So I'm, I want to make sure that I respect what it is, what it was, um, and not be one of those people that just cuts it up and, and irreversibly turns it into something else. It's kind of already there. But I don't, I don't want to go any further. You know what I mean? And honestly, it's kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah, these things... Uh, one of the cool things, though, is this right here. Where it's got kind of... You can put you can put the, uh, the receiver bar in it. And you can extend it out. Because they are really short. So from... It, it's difficult to maneuver with these more than your normal trailer because they're so short. Um, but the cool thing is, is that, yeah, you can extend it out and you can actually reverse this so that this portion goes all the way through and you can put it back and lock it underneath here to reinforce this entire area. So if I were doing the, the pencil weld on top, I would probably end up putting the square tubing through and, and lock that in just to give this a little more, you know. <laughs> so let me add this to. The... Oh, man, I thought a Pokemon got away. Sorry. Let me just squirrel. <laughs> So let's, I'm going to create another one. This is going to be specifically the, uh, the hitch solutions. And what, what was that one called? Come back. I mean, I don't care about you anymore. Do Piter. Doing the pokey catch. All right. And pokey check. Dang it. I didn't get the dupider either. Dupiter? Dupider? All I can think of is dupinder. <laughs> ah, for my fellow. Here we go. Uh, for my fellow Deadpool fans, dupinder. Du Deadpool the movie. I cannot say that I'm super into the uh, 
comic books because I just never been a comic book guy. Can't get into them. There's a few. I mean, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac and Devi, which maybe says more about me being a little out there, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, no. Name, link, cost. This is something I've been meaning to do, is just put these things down. I've, I've run across them so many to actually. <laughs> Squirrel, that reminds me of one other thing. Um, let's get rid of this. I need to make sure of... No, I, I want you to be to the left because you are going to be a, a rather potentially drastic change. Tires. So the tires on this thing are only rated for up to 55 miles an hour. They're uh, ply tires, I believe is the uh, treat. Rare candies may be dropped from catches. What? Can I just say treat? Sorry, sidetracked. Um, uh, surplus Jeep tires. Yeah, these guys. They're non-directional tread, and I believe they are... Yeah, the speed rating. There's no speed rating. These are designed for off-road use in vehicles that don't go over 55. And that's, that's what's on these things. And even better than that, they're not even new made. These are the original tires, so I wouldn't want to tear them up in that way. So I've got to find something that matches, which it seemed as though these guys had a solution here. I mean, that's expensive. That's a grand just on tires, but I, I kind of knew that. But what I don't know is, have they changed the, have they changed the lugs? I mean, that's six and a star, right? Did someone say squirrel? I believe I said squirrel. I I should really put down. I think it's, I think that's it. Six by sixteen. I think that is the the pattern, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that is, that's the pattern six by 16 wheel. So it looks like I can get cheaper ones cause I don't need it to look, I mean, I want it to look all right. Right. But, uh, I don't need it to be, I'm not, I'm not getting spinners for this thing. Man, what did I see? I saw, a, I think it's Rolls Royce now has spinners. Uh, no, not tires. Uh, I think it's, I, I was driving in Vegas and I saw Rolls Royce had, I think it was Rolls Royce. It was Rolls Royce driving next to me and they had the R and it was staying level the entire time they were driving. Uh, but they're basically spinners. I mean, at the end of the day, that's, they're just spinners. I'm never going to find it. 
it was kind of cool because it was it, i don't know it felt like it was uh, a little bit better quality than the the spinners back in the day <laughs> that would keep spinning when you stopped as opposed to staying level while you were going anyway squirrel um all right so we've got the we've got that the tires are six by 16. I believe now tires you know cars in general are not generally my thing <laughs> uh, if you've watched me any other time I'm programming or I'm building servers or what have you not this that's kind of why I've got to approach this this way, because I'm never going to remember all this random crap. Boom, boom. So as I'm gathering this information, I'm just trying to make sure that I've got it documented. But anyway, we're back. All right, so we have, we have the receiver. Let's go back back and stick with the hitch solutions no and let's put in the cost so we want the tongue insert maybe I don't think I care about the coupler I can get the coupler wherever and I don't even want that coupler, so maybe just the cables. Although I've already got chains on mine. I could just extend those. Although I don't know, do you, is there a, sp a particular space requirement for where the safety cables or chains are versus something I'll have to look up? All right, so I'm going to say no cables. So we're looking at 169 there. And on that note, real quick, I got to take care of some madness. And we're back. Doom, doom, doom. All right. So we got the, the we got that portion of it. Now let's consider um, I 
actually, let's let's go back before I go too far into what I'm building, right? Um, let's put together. These are all like categories of stuff that I need. But what about the stats, huh? Thankfully, you can find the info plate. And it tells you what you need to know. Well, not that one. Of course, when, when I'm looking, I can find it. There we go. So, weights, payload on wheels, and landing leg. So, empty, cross-country, it says a maximum of 965 pounds. Highway, maximum of 1,195 pounds. So, it is a quarter-ton trailer. Now, I guess my question is... Oh, well, there, yeah. I was going to say, is that total pounds? So total pounds, including itself, payload on wheels and on the landing leg. On wheels, on landing leg. Payload on wheels. I'm not sure what this means. How do I read this? By on landing leg. I mean, I know I've seen this number, the 1,195. I'm not sure what the 1,315. I mean, that says total pounds. Payload on wheels, 750. Like, that is not a useful chart. Let's just go with the... Because we also have to make sure we're within the weight budget, right? Total gross cross country. And 100 trailer. I mean, it seems like I'm going to have to make an account. <laughs> there we go. So M100, so this is the drawbar coupler. And I think these weights are specifically with the that drawbar. So this is saying their maximum Their maximum payload is 500 pounds. That doesn't seem right. A few Kanakistan numbers. The difference, Mac weight, Max weight. Oh, 
overall height is 42. The inside is 18. 24. No. Jeep trailer by Canadian Forces. Ba ba ba. Ah, oh, I didn't catch the sable eye. Have I already seen one though? Nope. All right. So this is saying. 500 pounds. But then this guy says 750. And then 100 trailer manual. I mean, that was obviously an old post if it was complaining about, careful, these are three to, to four meg files if I email them to you. I think this is the maintenance manual. because this looks really familiar. And I would bet I can upgrade a few parts if I need it to be more than 500, which it's important that I know that I need it, right? See, it's got the lunette and that spring jobby so that when you take off, it doesn't yank it. So payload on highways, 750 or 500 cross country. Okay, that's that's what it claims. Let's let's take a look at that. Um, I don't. I think I have to take this out of the weight equation because it's part of the empty weight. So it says it's five it weighs five seventy five with its cover, so empties five sixty five. Five sixty five LBs payloads. It's listed as seven fifty. Five hundred. Um, what type of shocks are in it? The axle is tubular. Oh, that's good to know. It's got a thirteen point five inch clearance. That's kind of separate. Clearage. I'm leaving it. It's clearage now. From this point forward, it is clearage. Bearing, parking brake. Parking brake, springs, axle, lights, length. Bolt number, it's got 10 leaf springs. 
Shock absorbers. Here we go. So these are single acting 1643. I thought shock absorbers were rated by like weight. Like maybe I can maybe I can just upgrade the shocks, right? I probably need to upgrade the, the leaves too. Off road and towing. Ideal for lowered cars. Nope. Lifted trucks, high performance off road, off road towing. That's, but this isn't really towing, this is being towed. Let's see, M100. I'm sure someone's upgraded it. I think I need to just create an account here. Flash. Oops, I hit caps. And I'm going to drag this over here so I can just create a password real quick. Just we'll use you. The only language available is American or is British English. That's funny. Before we can activate your account, we need some reasonable assurance that you're not a scammer, spammer. Just here to abuse the form as we receive a tremendous amount of these, blah blah blah. This forum keeps coming up when I'm looking for info on my M100 trailer. Information will not be seen by anyone other than the activation will not be used for any other purpose. Location. I am in California. What tool is commonly used to dig a hole? <laughs> Your mom. Uh, shovel. Oh, whoops. An email be sent to you. Okay. Yes. Update. Coming back. And let's put this on the side. 
Wait, did another Pokemon show up? No. Form Administrator, welcome to... Your account is currently inactive and needs to be approved. Let's see. What are the chances I actually get approved? <laughs> I wonder if I should have called this stream off-road trip planning. All right, anyway, there was another thing that these guys did for the 416 trailers. Oh, yeah, they have not, oh, not the fiberglass tub. They have fenders. Oh, this is what I want. So they make just these brackets, right? And it's 100 bucks for four of them. But if I switch it to six, it's 150 but then you can get their blemished ones with scratches, dings, whatever. I mean, I, I'm going to be beating these things up. I'm, I may even end up seracoding them or doing something stupid, right? The one problem I have with this is this is a fixed height. And I'm kind of on the fence about whether I want that fixed height or if I want to be able to raise it up. A lot of that's going to depend on which tent I pick. Because there are some tents, uh, rooftop tents, that have like this whole foyer thing that goes down. Uh, and again, that's, that's all the stuff that we're kind of going through here, isn't it? Um, but... But this whole sidetrack got started by this. 275. What about the performance series? How much do we think these are? Gah! That's even more. Yeah, I'm going to wait and see if I get approved for this madness. I'm going to have to remember, though, what I was looking for, right? M100 Trailer Shock Upgrade. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's over here. Used to there being an icon down below. Uh, let's just do miscellaneous links area. Uh, don't really. Well, I guess it is links. If I I just do a link to it, right? Bink, we'll just do that. Masquerade Ah, uh, didn't catch that one either. Wow, that's just unfortunate. Hey, at least that's still working. Over here. All right. Yeah, 
here before and after a spring over. No good when the pictures don't show up. Oh, here. Let's see what we got. Or is there a better shock? My King Camper has rebuildable Fox shocks. So far, they work very well. They handle the slow articulating stuff well. And high-speed washboards. Since they came on the trailer, I have no idea what the initial cost. All you ever need to know about the shocks. Nice. And the part number, the ordinance part number is this. For the M100, list the same part number, but it I think it said 16, right? Yeah, it says 16. So this is already suspect. <laughs> <laughs> military surplus new old stock oh, interesting I doubt that they're still selling for 22 bucks each Nominal extended is 17, compressed is 11, and this guy says, yeah, those are an inch longer on both, okay. So it's the spring over, increase the increase the weight limit of trailer. Since capacity is the axle's combined load rating, you'll need an axle upgrade to truly increase capacity. Sometimes that some <laughs> you're gonna have to replace the axle or you know the springs or maybe the shocks. It is as simple as upgrading axles or is there more to it? Longest, shortest story, no, you can't upgrade your way to a higher capacity. I tried. Problem is that everything looks in unison. If you upgrade one thing, you push the failure point to the next point. Yeah, that's given. Starts with tires, goes to axles, then frame, then walls. We went full time and I was running at first. Blah, blah, blah. Tires were rubbing against the slide bar. Oof, that would be unpleasant. Okay. But 
I mean, we can kind of assume, well, you know what? Let's work within its, its listed limits for now. So, but we did get something interesting out of this, which is, the Monroe part number, right? The part number, boom. Actually, let's just do this. I mean, Yeah, 32 bucks. They've definitely gone up. 94038, right? 94038. So let's grab that. Boom, 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 boom. Technically, that goes under maintenance. Maintaining. Where'd that go? Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And 3297 is what's listed. I mean, tires kind of falls under maintenance, but I'm 90% certain that's going to be an upgrade thing. Because I know that the little rims that are on it won't work. See, but I wonder what... Because that is the right kind of trailer, so what kind of tires and rims are those? I also want to make sure that it stays flat when being towed behind the Bronco. I don't want it, you know, tilted in some weird way. So that's going to be important too, making sure that I can get it in there. Oh, but uh, we want these just in case. These are an option, but they go under tent mounting. I need to start doing that too. Boom. Maintenance. Materials. And this is, we say 159 because I don't want to count on the $20 off being a guarantee. And they are no well no weld rack towers. All right. Shunk. I guess I can probably just say tent and then have uh, insert column left I mean it is just an option it's not decisioned yet but but this at least makes it so that uh I 
have that to the left of, yep. So insert column left. Okay. And then for the hitch, do I have anything breaking out hitch, upgrade, repair? This is retrofit, so. And I'm just going to get rid of this row. Because they should all be there, right? Okay. I'm curious about this. Like I said, this is kind of expensive. So it says it's a push through center cap. I'm guessing that means I can just push that off. Oh yeah, snap in center cap. And then snap in center cap, push through center cap. Pick a name. Like it did this it, the same person had to have written that, right? Wait, that's is that for two? Yeah, that is a set of two at least. I'm just going to save this just in case. Well, eh, I mean, that's the entire point. I'm finding these things and I'm looking for them. It's name type link cost. Name type link cost. In this case, we're looking at it was six thirty eight. Oops, and I closed that, didn't I? Good thing I kept this. And... What do I have tires broken in? Tires, just tires, okay. Well, then we can leave that blank. But that is, uh, no, that is the rims. So I think I'm going to say rim tire, because the tire... What just made noise at me? Probably one of these. Yeah, that. Probably this one. In K. Nope, didn't catch the in K. All right, and here's an option on tires. Luckily, I do have a friend uh, who is really into this, really into cars so much that it's what he does. <laughs> so I can probably run a lot of this stuff by him and say, will this fit? Will this work? Is this realistic? This is 
501 for a set of two. So there is a problem in that that's a set of two, and realistically, I want three. I want to be able to just slap one on there if I have a problem. I mean, I have I have the sawing repair kits that, you know, are, are serious business and all, but I would kind of rather be able to just drop it on there if I have to. So that's, that'll be something to look into. Uh, but anyway, 501. 501.98. In K escaped. Womp womp. Yes, did. All right. Let's uh, insert a couple rows above just to make sure I have more. Because this is extra info. Not super useful. Well, I mean, it's super useful, but just not. Immediately, you know. Okay, so now we can actually close that. I believe we can close this now. See, like, that's a five. I haven't actually... Uh, well, let's see. What's the pictures look like? I think... I know I have a side picture. Yeah, see? It is five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have to go get a better picture of that. But I think it's five, not eight. Classic eight window design, it's oh, that. Aggressive safety hump on bead sets, okay, don't care. I mean, nice, but don't care. So this says it's for eight lug, go away, I'm trying to read. bolt pattern is yeah see it, the bolt pattern is the other thing I'm worried about not just the wheel I need to find the bolt pattern and 100 Jeep trailer bolt pattern yeah five and five and a half inch with a large hub center And look, G503 again. I still haven't been activated. I mean, that's a five. That's a weird look to him. <laughs> Time borrowed it, they bent the edge of one of the wheels so the tire doesn't hold air. They were nice enough to not fix it. Cool. Used American Racing. Bug pattern between trailer and TJ don't match. The trailer is 5 by 5.5. 5. Uh, 
see, this is all stuff I've looked up before, and uh, every time I, I go, I gotta go look that up again, because I know it's weird. And this is where I've kind of gone through this conversation of boom, five, five by 5.5. Where I'm trying to find a rim. Two, six. I don't particularly need. So that's a 15 by 8. Is that each? Because that's 400. That comes out a little bit cheaper. Load capacity is higher than the trailer. That's good. question is about that hub because the hub has to pass through right because that if I remember right that's where the brakes are and at some point I have to lock I have to crack all of these and re-grease all of that we're not talking about that right now <laughs> <laughs> True beadlock wheels are generally not due to their two-piece construction. I, mean, I guess I don't need beadlock. But I do want... What? Go back to this. They're a six by sixteen inch. Like that's listed as a modular trailer wheel. And it looks like at least the hub is open, right? Is that called the large Ford pattern? <laughs> and I also need large hub. I mean, I don't care that it's white. This would be nice if it's just the, the tire, like the whole thing. It's a large hub, it's five. It's a 15 inch, minus 16 on six, whatever that means. Five on four and a half. Oh, that's the bolt pattern. So why, why would you show me that if I need five on five and a half? Two hundred and ninety-five four. Bias ply tire. That's what I'm trying to stay away from. Bias ply tires. Bias 
buy a supply. Because it's buy a supply. Buy a supply. Yeah, versus radial. Radial is what I want. Buy a supply. They, if I'm remembering right, they heat up at highway speeds and can delaminate, which is why they have lower uh, speeds. They usually cost less. Bias tires come with a stiffer sidewall. And low durability. Hmm. Hmm. That could be a reason, right? caused by the structure. The interconnecting piles create a stiff sidewall, but do not provide the same support to the tread area. This results in an uneven surface contact. The bias structure makes the footprint follow cracks while the tires are in motion. Yeah, it's that one. The resistance to heat build up. I'm not too worried about traction. They're not going to be driving the car. They're, they're not driving. They're being pulled, right? It's this one and this one. And probably this one. Bias looking radial tires. <laughs> let's see. Oops, let's that's not what I want. Press and hold escape. All right. Uh, radial. Trailer tires. They're less expensive, can carry heavy loads, do fine when going a straight line. Abrasion and heat. Yep. Smoother ride. Track the pulling vehicle better. Run cooler, wider footprints, resistant, blah, 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 fuel economy. All right. Although, I mean, at this price, oh, but that's a 10 inch wheel. I need a 16 inch wheel. And they apparently max out at 15 here. Pokey catch. Pokey check. Didn't catch that. I didn't catch anything so far today. And see, this is one of the sites that always comes up and like, Options are not wonderful. So the question is, am I, am I like looking at, I just needed, I need to replace the axle on the thing, which it, let's be honest, it does not look like it's super difficult, but Oh, 
I mean, there's always adapters, right? That's, that's less than ideal. Let's check discount tire. Yeah, continue. Uh, 16 by... Well, they're super skinny, so I, the 16 by 6... What's this? 5-139. Why do I have to put a... I just want to shop. Oh, shop wheels. Shop all wheels. I'm not worried about brands. Diameter, wheel width. Let's start with... What are these numbers? Where's five dash five and a half? Is this like five metric? <laughs> Oops, five dash five point five versus. Five dash it was only used on four trucks. Okay. That's cool. I think this is going to have to be a different level of research or a different area of research, right? So basically we know that neither of these is going to fit. Well, maybe the tire we don't know. But this rim will not. What's crazy is like, okay, I get it. It's eight, but it doesn't. Oh, there we go. A bore backspacing quiet. Bolt pattern is five by 127. And it says that's five by five. Is the 127 supposed to be millimeters uh, bolt pattern I don't want to I don't I just want to see like what the what the heck does this mean <laughs> So 127 is considered 5. So 139.7 in this. Was this the one? No. What was the one I was just looking at? This one. So 127. Go away.
All right. So now here, let's get rid of the five by a hundred. See, but I need that large hub. This is listed as a trailer. Does this have something with a hub listing? It doesn't. I'm just searching here for uh, my vehicle is not a vehicle. So does this hub pop out? The five, six, design, cut out, and cut out, blah, blah, blah. 16, not black. Hub bore size. It says 81. The size of the hole in the back of the wheel. So that says 81. Is that a maximum size? Because... Number of bolts, 5. The rim is a 16 by 4. This doesn't tell me what... Where did I see... It was one of these other ones that told me the hub size. And 100 trailer hub size. Any large hub, 5 inch. That's just considered large hub. And it's... It just keeps happening. They can't keep getting away with it. Wasn't it in here? Turning the truck wide, wheels will be too wide. The tires will rub against the tub unless you have ridiculously shallow back spacing. Use a wheel no wider than eight inches. Make matching the wheels or tires to the tow rig a very low priority. It looks cool. P or LT rather than trailer rated.
Tires are too large for the arc of the fender. He'll have clearance issues. And the Oceano Dunes. With military style tires, okay. Let's see what this is. Oops. Uh, let's just say. That we need the large hub. What is, well, let's. But I do think we can go back at where's the one we were finally looking at geez yeah this guy has a hub bore size of 41 wow I'm glad I have desktop off how about let's go away <laughs> You probably didn't hear that because I think I have desktop muted. Just had a sudden AAA commercial. Yeah, see, they have the military ones on there. And I do have three military ones. I just really worry about that. DCC tires. I mean, I like this. I don't need... I don't think I need anything that aggressive. But again, it's the five on four and a half. Gumi. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Have not. Need to open my game and do my trade. Actually, how many Pokeballs do I have right now? Let's see. 
I'm down to nine. I might need to buy a few. Any missions? Winter Trade Steel Type. Do I even have a Steel Type? Gumi Escape. Guessing I don't. So we'll just pick something stupid. Wait. Trid. Trid. Ascend a guest. All right. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Like, that would be nice if those aren't bias. Buy a supply. Dang it. Because, like, if I'm just going to end up buying, or if I'm going to end up budgeting for buy a supply, I'm just going to leave the ones I've got, even though they are original. Inner tube. I don't really want an inner tube. I want to be able to use the same patching solution as I use on everything else. And again. I think I've signed up for this, and I think that their mods are, are just gone. Which means that I'd need to figure out how Google's getting this information, but I can't. Let's see what this says. Oh, I'm, I've read this one before. This was where I found... I want to be pulled by four or five, so changing is impossible. I'm leaning towards finding a radial seven, tall and skinny. No tube. Yeah, that's what I really want. I run the stock wheels with a radial tire. Yeah, that's that's my big concern right there. I don't want to be trying to fix a tube out in the middle of nowhere. Two thirty five Goodyear MTRs. I mean, if I could get this in the right bolt pattern. Does this match what this guy is talking about? I ran two thirty five eight eighty five R sixteen. Yeah. Two 
but I'm going to bet this is just the tire. Yeah, wheel not included. So I need to find a rim for that, or is, are they saying... Two three five eight is a common size if you had to get a replacement. Tall skinny bias. How did your tires hold up? Oh, it's been three years. <laughs> I changed out the wheels to Jeep wheels and used the regular tires. I don't know what you're saying here. William wheels are 16 by 4.5 with a 5.5. .5. Alright. So when we go back to the... Is it this one? Why is this here? <laughs> This is the one I was looking at. Okay. Let's go back one. I don't seem to have the ability to sort by hub. I mean, I want something that doesn't look ridiculous. <laughs> the number of times you see these giant you know the the super thin tires on on cars that are cruising around on the dirt roads and stuff and you're just like what are you doing Eight spoke trailer. That's a sixteen and six. Twelve through sixteen trailer sizes, white or galvanized silver. We'll get the job done. That's all I need. Sixteen by six. Why does it say why did it change that? I need fifteen by one thirty nine. Six by one thirty nine by seven. And I had five by one thirty nine by seven. So 
so this doesn't even have the size that I'm filtering by. I am still filtering by that, right? I am not. Why not? It's not even an option anymore. What? Okay, so you just don't actually have anything like that. Although, let's try that. Oops. Copy. Try it this way. This is where I just was. <laughs> I mean, that's not a terrible match. Push through center cap. Expect lightweight but structured performance. At least it, it's more than everything else. I have to put this down as a maybe. It's up by seven. So that makes it a seven inch wheel. Width wise. Boom. Crap, where'd you go? Eight when they won't let you copy this information. <laughs> like what what good is it to make it a link to itself? Rim. Zubat. I love Zubat. I'm going to catch the Zubat. I caught this Zubat. I had to have, right? Zubat. It's actually not a terrible Zubat. Not an awesome Zubat, but not a terrible one either. You see why I need to like sit down and make a sheet for all of this stuff? Like I've got to think about all these random 
rap that just doesn't, I don't remember ever having to think about this stuff. Center cap is not included. I don't, that's so funny. The push through center cap features a logo. Center cap is not included. <laughs> Uh, all right, but it's these are eighty seven dollars each. Then I need a tire that will match with this. Do they have one listed? Because that would be nice. Okay, there's one nearby. I actually wonder if I shouldn't just... Available as soon as Saturn. This is one of those things I wonder. Can I just wheel this guy over there and say, hey, I want this done. And they'll go, okay, that's going to be $87 each. Like, maybe I'm stressing too much over the wheels and I need to let a professional handle that. But I'm trying to build a budget, a rough estimate at the very least, right? Let's do something that's more interesting to me. Power. This one's going to be a little bit different because I'm just going to list everything that I, I plan on running. And then I can figure out how much storage I need, right? So, number one laptop laptop is a rog okay which one is it i have the box around here somewhere i suppose i could just look at the charger <laughs> oops ass us It's the Zephyrus. I think it's a G16. Let's see. Yep, that's the one. Reject. Well, actually, no, this is where I want to look. Uh, tech specs. So it is a 90 watt hours. There we go. It's a 200 watt AC adapter. And it can charge from a 100 watt. It does not do that very well. So I, I need to plan on 200 watts because I'm going to be using it for pretty much everything, right? Uh, so, bada bing. Zephyr G16. 
Um, it is 200 watts. Not big W. I can probably just say wattage, right? So 200. Anything else, I'll just do a decimal. Um, it has... I don't know if I care that it has the ability for battery. Oh, just put this up. I am going to want monitors. Monitors are going to be interesting because a 16 inch monitor is nice when you want something small. But when you're editing video, Yeah, something like this is kind of cool. So that's two, two 16 inches. That's just stupid. I kind of like it. I'm not sure how I feel about this. And why is this 200? Where is the other one? 700. What's the uh, 1080? I bet the $700 one is 4K, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, no, it's half that. It's 2K. <laughs> so a true 4K would be like a million dollars. I mean, what about the flip go? Let's, let's take a look at that. I don't know if I trust anything that's spin to win. It doesn't even say. Like I've, I've got to go in and dig to figure out what it even is. Nope. Yeah, you know, just a spare, a single spare would be fine. The idea of a foldable screen is cool. There's just a 4K... I have doubts. <laughs> I mean, all right, let's look at this. 16, another 16. So I'd just be 16 right next to it. It'd basically be the same thing as I'm doing right now, only slightly smaller. No, a lot smaller, but that's okay. What's its power consumption? It does not say. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. 30 watts. So let's go with this one. And actually... I think I want to make sure. I don't care about the refer. It should just be this. Yep. All right. So I'm going to have the link. It is a 30 watt. And this is. Sixteen inch portable monitor. And then I'll have I will have the cost as well. In this case I can say zero because it's purchased. But this is three hundred and twenty nine dollars. Currently on sale, but whatever. All right, I do already have, uh, what is the, the heck is this silly thing called? It is, travel router, this guy. Is this one I have though? GLINA. Yep. It is a really cool little idea. Like I'm a person when I when I do international travel, I just take one adapter and then a power uh a, a surge protector. So then I can just plug everything into that surge protector. This allows me to do the same thing, but for network, because I can join this to whatever network. And then it just shares the connection back with everything else. It's it makes it, it makes life so much easier because I can just plug it into my hotel room or whatever, and then it's the same as if I'm at home. I did a review. I wrote a review actually on uh, what is that? Boom. Is that the right one? Man, I can't remember my. I had a command that would say, what is my command? That's not the right one. I need to open this. What is my, why am I not remembering my commands? I mean, it's only been a couple of weeks. I should know this. Website. Of course it's website. Why wouldn't it be website? Yeah. So if you're following along in chat, it won't show up on the screen, but it's uh, just connectedme.com. I threw up a review on this. Uh, I really like it. But what I'm after now is how much power it uses. Pokey catch. Pokey check. Hey, it looks like I caught another one finally. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, it's just a USB C connection for power. So I'll probably have to look that up. Like what's the maximum draw that it could have, right? Four, 
six, blah, 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 file sharing. Yeah, I'll have to pull it out to figure to get whatever it is. Uh, but you in there. Oops. TBD. I guess I can keep the link, huh? Back when I had Amazon referral links, I had this set up. Maybe I'll get those back again. We'll see. It's zero because it's already bought. Um, there's going to be the Pixel 6 charger, which is USB C. Let's see what the one I have is rated to. Twenty seven watts. Uh, no link zero zero. And there's going to be kind of a ridiculous number of USB devices in general. Actually, I can probably, not even probably, I can take uh, USB C chargers, and I can see one, two, three, Five. Let's see. USB C pixel. USB C uh, <laughs> camera. USB C uh, Pixel Buds USB C Pixel Watch in case you can't tell, kind of a fanboy. It's a pixel, not a puxel. Oops. And then uh, USB C four. Right. Apple Watch USB C four iPhone. I should probably include iPad as well, right? Because she has one of those as well. Oops. That's not what I wanted. You're not helpful. This is all going to be zero. Um, USB. And this is just assuming that they're basically running at max. Like the iPad one may actually be more, come to think of it. GoPro and USB C. All right. I mean, that's just miscellaneous stuff being charged. Um, 
I do have, I don't know, trick. A and B tier Pokemon might be under costumes now. Oh, that's funny. That's kind of cool. They have it set up so that uh, different things happen on the Pokemon game. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, what is a... Oh, yeah, I need to count. I have a surface that I use for video editing, too. And, of course, it's scratched all to crap. See if I can get just the right amount of shine on it. Yeah. Let's see. Sixty-five watt. That's the one I got. So that's sixty-five. These are all zero, zero, zeros, because they're all paid for. Uh, this USB, what's the maximum wattage for US for plain USB? Or micro USB, because it's USB 2.1, I believe. Ten watts. So uh Samsung Tablet Tablet is ten watts. Doesn't help to put the ten there though. All right. I'm not even counting my lighting yet. Uh, I do have USB lights. And I have to... Well, yeah, I have to count the lights. Um, I don't need to worry about these. They're coming off the laptop. Let's see. I'm going to replace the, the lights. Because right now it's just one of those stupid ring lights... I got on Woot forever ago, and when I was planning on recording some reloading videos, and I just decided, eh, I don't want to do that. It's it's just not as interesting as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let's see. USB key lighting. El Gato Mini. Wow, that's a $60. I'm sure it's a nice light, though. Maybe I just need to do key light. Yeah, there we go. I like this one, too. I've seen this one, but I'm like... If I'm going to spend $60 on Logitech, El Gato's kind of where it's really at at the moment. I want something not not this bulky. I don't really want more tripods. Like, I've got a couple of tripods. I want something that I can clip on to things, you know what I mean? Not screw on to things. Yeah, like this guy. I mean, that is 
stupid. There's no way I would clip onto a laptop like that. Keychain work light. Not quite what I'm after. Oh, this one's rechargeable, so that could be useful, depending on how long it lasts. Built in, blah, blah, blah. The light has a long battery life. I mean, it's a light. I set it on max. Hit on. Start a timer. Put that number in here. Why? Why would you just say long? And this is it. I was looking at these a while back and it's. I was like, wow, that's that's a crazy discount. I got a, I actually got an email saying that they were on crazy discount. I've never found these not on this crazy discount. So this this is the price. <laughs> There's no one who's paying three hundred and sixty dollars for these. But I'm going to put it down as a try. But this is USB-C again, so it's going to be another 27 watts, basically. So, clip on key light is 27, 27, because you always want two. And we're going to put this down as $359. Yeah. Like I said, no one's ever paying that. All right. What else is going to be plugged in? Well, I mean, I, I do have to make the decision of... Am I going to try to stream? I'm going to put in, yes, I'm trying to stream for the budget's sake, but it'll probably be one of the first things that gets cut. So why not? Starlink Mini Mobile? Is that what it was called? Starlink Roam. So I'm going to have to say that it's going to be maxed out because, let's be honest, uh, what I'm worried about, though, is DC power, power supply. Don't give me average. Give me maximum power consumption. So 240 at 1.6 amps. Pokey catch. Okay, check. Didn't catch it. All right, so if I'm remembering right, I'm looking at... I keep getting a buzz in my right ear that sounds like a mosquito, and it's creeping me out. <laughs> like, wait, it, but there's, there's none. What are you talking about? Um, volts times amps, right? Yes, watts is volts times amps. So if I do 240 
times 1.6. That means that they're expecting a maximum of 384 watts. For the largest one that I have on here so far. And according to their website, I'm looking at 600 plus 165, so 765 for also the most expensive thing on the list so far. Eh, ish. The tires were close. And let's do a link. I do know that uh, California currently gets a rebate back like $200 on the purchase price. So ah, that could be good. Okay, I've still got to figure out what this is. I mean... I know it's USB-C, so I can just say it's 27 watts as well. Well, you know what? I can't do that. Because I think... I think USB-C is way higher. Yeah. So I can't guarantee this number without seeing it, or this number. This just happens to be the chargers that I'm using, so it just is what it is. Same here. That, I'm assuming, is max. This one I can't count on either. And we already discussed, I probably can't count on that one. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on this. Like this portable monitor, I need to know... What's the power supply? It says it's Energy Star rated, but maybe Asus has more information than Amazon. Certainly possible. No, that's, oh, maybe. Video signal transmission and power is via USB-C. So it might just become part of the laptop's pull. That just begs the question of, does the... Is the 200 watts over spec enough for the laptop? Specs, model, display, video, I.O. Oh, there we go. 13 watts. It's actually not bad. It's lower than what I had. I don't like that, but nature of the, the world we live in. That takes care of that. What's next? GLX. I think they actually are going to have their data on. I think they have the data that actually on the website. For 
projector. Oops, do you like eighteen hundred slid AX? Product reviews, interfaces, power, power consumption. There we go. I was definitely over. Good. 8.75. Now I am concerned because I'm fairly certain that, that what those numbers are is closer to, oh, this is what our average is. It's not our maximum, it's our average. We'll see. Because like all of these numbers are going to be high when it's outside of the fast charging band. But I want to err on the side of, I have way too much. I didn't grab the, oh good, I was like, I didn't grab the link for that, how dumb. And there's no way, no way I'd be able to look that up on their, their website, because they don't have one. Mixit Mexitoy. All right, so what else? What else am I thinking of here? What else is there power related? A uh, a cooler fridge sort of thing oh and probably a pump uh for water i mean i'd want something that i don't know about these top loading ones Why is that one basically half off? It's got an ice maker. <laughs> ah, that'd be hilarious. It's, it's got five reviews from the company. So solar energy up to 240 watts as fast as 2.1 hours for a full charge. Does that give, what's a full charge? Is a full charge a full day? Oh, so up to 40 hours, but that's probably on the higher end, right? I mean, it is pretty cool that it has an ice maker. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, but it says solar energy up to 240 watts. But that doesn't tell me much about it. Some quirky behavior. See, that's not what I want to see.
five stars. I haven't had a chance to use it. <laughs> but five stars. At least they're honest. This review is meaningless. The Glacier is an incomplete package without the plug-in battery. The Glacier should... Uh... So wait, how is that not a one-star review? Fantastic product, but if you buy it like this, you have nothing. Ozark Trail. I keep seeing Anchor making all these crazy things. Like, I've seen Anchor batteries and I don't think I need wheels. And honestly, do I need electric? Because I think... Oh, it's more expensive. We're checking. Thirty five can be hooked up to it, that's kind of nice. And park near nature. Agreed. All right, so what is this thing? Uses only a half a pound of propane per day. It just review propane cooler. This oh, it's propanecooler.com. I'm shocked and amazed. Oh God, okay. That's why. <laughs> that's not happening. Oh, wait. Okay, that's the domain name is 20. So I guess they didn't do well. When was this review? Uh, 2013. Sorry, propanecooler.com. I never knew you. Let's just do camping cooler. That's kind of cool if the table charges the, the fridge on its own and then I don't have to worry about it. I always worry when I see 50% off on a web page I've never been to or heard of. You know, like that, that instills confidence. Oh, I should be, man, I should be including the weight. Because weight is important as well. I mean, most of these, is uh, pretty much all of this is going to be in the car, not the trailer. But actually, I haven't done anything yet, so. I haven't decided on a cooling solution. Um, overlanding. Cooler.
but this is the one that keeps popping up. Let's see what Reddit says. Reddit's always wrong. Let's do whatever they don't do. I just see the word bacon fiasco. I don't go five after our bacon fiasco. Off bacon, didn't have a backup breakfast. A freezer? Dual batteries, charger, solar. Nope. Any of the Yeti knockoffs? So these are all just going to be coolers, not... And this is four years ago. All right. Well, let's look at this. The price is low. I mean, it looks like something that could live on the tongue of the trailer, right? Depending on size. And, like, I only really... It's a single zone, but it's a fridge or freezer. What's its usage consumption? That's cheating. 340.347 kilowatts. <laughs> That's 347 watts. Don't lie. What's the dimension? Boom, 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 boom. Dimension. 27. Oh, 27 by 15. I mean, I like it. Oh, it's a it's compressor based. I like that even more. I I hate the idea of one of those um, Peltier fridges. All right, this is going on the list. Uh, link first. I think that's all I need for the link. Let's test it. Yep. And then I can decide, do I want two? Do I want one? What's this? With cover. What's the cover? Ah. I mean, it's a little expensive, but if I'm going to be out there for a while, right? What's the difference here? Wow, that is a huge increase in power, though. Although they're, they're listing in kilowatt hours per 24 hours. So... And I'm listing just watts. So 0. 0.545. I think it's like divided by 12. Oh, by 1,000. So 500. It's still 545 watts. No, but that's... K. 
kilowatt hours. All right, into the energy point 545. Enter time is 24. Is it really saying that that takes less than a USB charger, basically? That's that's pretty cool. That's making me want to put the uh, the formula in to to start adding everything up because that's crazy. Oops, that's not what I want. Dual zone metal freezer with cover. Metal fridge freezer. Oop, no. I'm just going to put 23. That kind of tells you Starlink is ridiculous. Like, if that maxes out, um, let's do... Watts to kilowatt hours. All right, so if it's 384, and we're going to say eight hours. That means that alone is 3,000 kilowatt hours if I, if I want to run it for eight hours. So let's look at... Overland. Let's look at this guy. So this is 3.6 kilowatt hours. So this alone is what I would need for that one thing. But what I need to figure out with this, uh, and this is something I'm still kind of working out is how much will, if I plug this into my car while I'm driving, that's going to be charging it. How much is that going to do for me? And how much more is that going to cost in gas? And then, I mean, I definitely plan on adding solar panels of some variety, probably not theirs. I mean that's 800 watts but that's rigid I would need I need flexible oh, plus alternator charger what is the alternator charger now I'm curious
Yeah, this, I mean, this is the reason, right? This is the reason I'm doing all of this. Um, block. Can I find the alternator charger? Does this mean it goes like... Under the hood? Yeah, charge while you drive. Ah, uh, okay, so it charges, it just charges directly off the engine. Interesting. Definitely something to consider. I mean, I haven't, uh, I am not endorsing this company. I've done very little research on the batteries, so I want to make sure that that's clear. I have not used these, and... Oh, plus a free camping chair. Like this setup wouldn't even be enough for the, I mean, that's something that I got to pay attention to, right? Like. If I can't provide enough power for that thing. Although, there is the other side of it. Right now, I'm, I'm looking at that particular product for streaming. And I just did a calculation assuming that it's on, you know, a work day. If I do, you know, four hours just to get everything taken care of of course four is half of eight who knew right but there is a potential there of uh using it only when streaming there is also the possibility of just trying to use the connectivity that i already pay for on my car. I don't think that that's generally fast enough for streaming. Although I don't know how well Starlink is for streaming. I do know that there are some things where I would be away from the car that, uh, the girl wants to do where we would kind of have to leave the car behind for up to a week. I don't know. We're very early days in this. And like I said, a lot of this is just to find out, okay, how interesting is the planning process? Is this something that people want to talk about? According to this stream, no. <laughs> but who knows? Um, if it is something that you end up wanting to talk about, then uh, please, like I said, leave a message, leave a chat. If you're watching on YouTube, do it there. Uh, I think this is where I'm calling it before I get too far down the rabbit hole of the next squirrel. I'm trying to keep myself from doing some of this research uh, while I'm not streaming. Uh, obviously, I'm doing a little bit on the trailer. Uh, but, you know, a lot of this stuff, I really want to figure it out. What I want to build, what I need to build, or what I want to build and then pare it down to what I need to build. Ooh, okay, catch. And didn't catch that either. Um, so yeah, we'll revisit this and take a look at it tomorrow. Uh, again, if you were lurking, if you swung by and, and lurked for a little bit, if you are watching on YouTube and you're just kind of interested in what's happening here, uh, let me know. Put something down below and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.
Sound good? Sounds good. Thanks for hanging out. And I do mean it. <laughs>